Okay, here I'm back. Um, this is just I split the video into two parts since it was like uh, 25 minutes long and I didn't want to have it one big chunk. So I just like partitioned it more or less. And uh, they'll be both uploaded simultaneously. So if you want to check out the previous part if you didn't see that one, I would recommend that. But, um, it's all chronological, the work in progress bit. So this video is gonna be more or less uh, wrapping up some fine details, like age lines, wrink not wrinkles, but I consider them lines, but you know, features of the face that make it look like old, older person. Here's another carbide burr. It's a smaller version of this oval shape style. I think it's a forney bit, carbide bit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I really like these bits because they're good for uh, around the eyes, like as you can see here. Just gouging in those places like that, you know. Eyebrows, etc. Pretty good for that, you know. Just gouging out around the hairline to give it more some depth. And so it looks like a maybe it could be a, perhaps some hair hanging down or a hat perhaps or some kind of a garment. Once again, you can see the buildup of the sawdust residue from the Dremel activity. Yeah, I'm just gouging out around the face to give it more uh, dimensionality as opposed to like a flat look. It seems to like bake the face like it's coming out of the wood, more or less, it's emerging. So that's a nice effect, I think. And here, uh, here's part of the final stage of the project. I mean, I can keep going on with this face, but um, there's a point where you have to stop 
for all practical reasons. But uh, it gets a bit uh, carried away sometimes, but then again, in a good way. Yeah, a lot of the birds tend to dull over time and lose their edge, but they could still be used. They're perfectly fine for uh, all kinds of work, like around the eyes here. And I'm just trying to create some eye bags, give some more three-dimensionality, as well as the the brow area. It's almost like it's uh, smiling or grimacing at this point. Can't tell what. Yeah, once you get the foundation down, you can start adding these little minute details. And uh, it really makes the face come to life, more or less. Yeah, I didn't use too much picture reference for this face, except for the mouth area. I consulted some photographs for that. Again, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, get something out of it. I may, it may appear to be advanced for the average carver, but I hope it's not. I hope uh, you can get some bits here and there of advice fit <clears throat> from the visual part. Um, I don't know, it's just like a lot of practice and practice and practice eventually it'll come to you i mean it came to me pretty easily i think because i've always been able to draw pretty well also like if you see some other artists you come inspired so that's another motivational factor to um push yourself and try to be not try to mimic someone per, per se but just to uh, create something that's uh, unique or something like that you know I mean something that's like hey I've never seen anything like that before you know
But yeah, here's another favorite tool of mine, the Scribe. I'm using the sharp end, and then on the other end I have a blunt end for different effects. Sharp one creates more uh, sharper delineations and lines, and then this, the blunt end is good for burnishing more or less those sharp lines to make it more uh, blended blended effect. I guess it lends to more natural effect from from what I can see. It just cre creates a more uh, pleasing appearance, realistically sp speaking. Yeah, I don't mind the babbling. I'm just rambling on. Yeah, the, here I'm doing the burnish effect on that. Using the blunt end of the scribe. The scribe I made custom made out of a piece of wire from uh, Home Depot. You buy this uh, long piece of a metal rod. I think it's like three eighths of an inch diameter, but you can cut them in sections and shape the ends, tips, make your own bits here and there. Actually kind of fun. Yeah, here's a store-bought scribe. It's a little bit um, thinner and sharper. It's got a plastic handle on it. Well, this concludes this uh, session. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, I'll be uploading more frequently now since I'm not shackled by the potato farmer. That is, metaphorically speaking. Take care, everyone, and talk to you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>